All right. <laughs> the vows that you're about to make are a covenant. It's a promise. Talk louder. Don't want to cry. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. They're not just words. It comes from your heart and it means something. In Genesis 2.18, God said it's not good for man to be alone. He said, I'll make a helpmate for him. Sarah, you were designed to come alongside of safety to be that helpmate. To stand by him, to strengthen him, and to support him. It says in Ephesians chapter 5, how to have a successful marriage. Wives, submit yourself unto your husband as the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and is the savior of the body. Therefore, as Christ is, is the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be unto their own husbands. Stacy, you were told to love your wife, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify it, cleanse it with the washing of the water of the word. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man yet hated his his own flesh, but nourish, nourishes it and cherishes it, even as the Lord of the church. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and the two are one flesh. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as Christ loved himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. Stacy, you take Sarah as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her, even as Christ loves the church, to protect her and care for her for the rest of your life. Then turn to her and make the profession of your faith. I, Stacy, according to the word of God, leave my father and my mother, leave my father and my mother, and I join myself to you to be a husband to you. From this moment forward, we shall be one. Sarah, do you take Stacy as your husband, submitting yourself unto him as the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of the union for the rest of your life? Then turn to him and make this profession of faith. I, Sarah, I, Sarah, according to the word of God, according to the word of God, Submit myself to you, to be a wife to you, from this moment forward, we shall be one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take this one, and hold her hand. Take this ring, place it on her finger, and say to her, with this ring, I be wed. It is a token of my love for you. A token of my love for you. <laughs> <laughs> and a token of my faith in you. Token of faith in you. <laughs> it's a little human. It's a little human to so the <laughs> This woman. No, no, no. This, I'm just, this, I'm just telling you. This woman. <laughs> This woman stands by your side, not under your feet. You have a responsibility of being the head of this union. You have a spiritual responsibility. I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your helpmate. Now, Sarah, take this ring and place it on his finger and say to him, With this ring, With this ring I be wed. I, be wed. I, give it as a token of faith. I give it as a token of faith. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. Now you turn, face your family and friends. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Stacy Crowley. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's gotta be long. It's gotta be long. Keep kissing. <laughs> Mama hasn't got it yet. <laughs> yeah. So Lady <laughs>
Remember that? <laughs> oh, come on, oh you gotta put the glasses on now and walk it. There you go. <laughs> walk off, walk off down come to on. that barbecue. <laughs>